see um, the light this is the incident ray which is coming on the glass slab this is the glass slab the glass slab is having a thickness t now this incident ray when it's coming it is incident on the uh, interface which is p q the angle of incidence is i now since glass is having more refractive index so therefore it will bend towards the normal which it does and you see it is deviating from the uh, its original path it is deviating to the towards the normal so we have to draw the normal here we have to draw the incident ray we have to go step by step and then we have to draw the refracted ray now this refracted ray again it reaches the uh, the second interface now since both pq and sr are parallel by the definition of glass slab so therefore what happens is since they are parallel so the angle of refraction which is r here it becomes the angle of incidence r is equal to r dash okay now since r is equal to r dash so what will happen the emergent ray which will will be having an angle e which is which will be equal to angle of incidence how so let us see here so at interface pq we have 1 into sin i is equal to mu into sin r and at interface sr we have mu into sin r is equal to 1 into sin e now i am writing here r because r dash is going to be equal to r now if you compare you know these two equations clearly e is going to be equal to i so that means the rays emerge parallel to the original ray so this was the original ray the dotted ray so this emerges parallel to it and the distance between them that is the lateral displacement which is d okay of course here you know a mirror is there and then it will retrace its path that's fine but the point is that this is uh, you know all these things have to be marked so we have to mark the incident ray we have to mark the refracted ray which is there inside the glass slab and then we have to mark the emergent ray on both the interfaces we have to mark the normals and also the incident angle refracted angle and the emergent angle all of them should also be marked